Hi everyone, this is Laura, and today I wanted to show you guys how I changed my Louis Vuitton agenda into a traveler's notebook, and this is the PM size. So, um, a little backstory, really quick. This one is a gift from my husband from like from my 25th birthday, and I'm 47. So this one is really old, and it's still in excellent condition, and it has sentimental value to me. So when I thought of doing this, I didn't want to cut this one. So I went to eBay, and there is a store on there called Next Innovation, and I found this one. And so what I did was as soon as I got it, I took it to Louis Vuitton and I had it hot stamped because I knew that after I did this, they wouldn't want to do that. So then what I did was, and I'm going to just use this to kind of show you guys, I took my scissors and I cut this whole entire part off right here. And then I cut the piece of leather and canvas off around this little snap and I took some E6000 glue and I stuck it right in that hole and then I stuck this snap right in the hole. So that is how this looks right here, as you can see. And there is no um, strap or pin loop here. So then I went to the container store and I bought this pin loop and I wish it were brown, but it's black and so that's just the way it is. But now I can at least use any kind of pin that I want in here, any size. And so then the other, the next thing I did was I removed the rings. And um, here's the rings right here. You can see how tiny they are. And that's probably the biggest complaint about these PMs is that the rings are so small. So you can only put maybe about 50 pages in here. And it was very easy to remove the rings. You just... Um, I got a little, I don't know what that is. I always call it a minus, but it's um, a screwdriver that is flat right there. And you just, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you just pry this little silver thing up right here and then the, this comes right off. So then what I did after I removed it is I poked a couple holes in the canvas, which was very, very easy. And I just put the elastic in there and there. So that is how it looks. And you can see that there. And so um, let me just show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So I have the Planner Society May Kit in here. And this is the um, little girls. And I like to put the... Um, the tabs on the top. I don't know why, but it really works um, perfectly for this because this is going right to the edge here. So there's no room for tabs. I mean, I guess there is, but um, I don't know, probably not because of that. But, and this right here is just a, you know, goody um, elastic um, for your hair. So, um, let me just show you guys how I have it set up. This is, um, and I like my, I like all my things to match. So I don't like a bunch of different booklets in mine, but that's just my personal preference. So I went to 1407 planners and I got, uh, these little books and this is the field note size and it fits perfectly in here. As you can see, it goes to the edge, um, on each side. So I bought the monthly and um, the monthly starts in July and that's why I haven't decorated it yet. But um, it goes from July of this year till December of next year. And then I just made this little pocket of um, just some pictures I like. That's me and my husband. I put some of my favorite washi here. And then um, I've got some of the Planner Society stickers. And then the next booklet is to-do list. And I just wrapped this acetate around it. And I just made like some lists in here. And um, this paper quality is really, really nice. So this is just how my, um, my to-do list booklet looks. I put a few sticky notes right here. And then 
because I wanted to use this for June and my um, books don't start till July, I went ahead and I made this little section right here and this holds um, some sticky notes and then I made June and what I did was I just kind of copied the layout that I have uh, and I'll show you back here of the one I bought. So this is all just, um, I just wrote it out and this is for June. And I did this little flap here because that's how it looks um, for July, August, September in the book that I bought. So this is uh, this week right here, Father's Day week. And then this is next week, so I haven't really done much to it. And then this is the week after, so that's how it looks. And that, that's just me, you know, writing it out. And then as soon as June's over, I'll take this out. So I just kind of wanted to get a feel of um, what this is going to be like to have this little flap and that kind of thing. And then, so once I take this out, it's just going to be here and here, and it's just going to hold some sticky notes. And so then I've got a couple of my personal things right here. And this little uh, PVC holder right here is from Milk Shop on Etsy. And um, it fits perfectly in here. And then this is the weekly. And I use the vellum. And then this is what it looks like. So that is how it looks. Let me get this. Um, for July Oops. and you can kind of see how that that looks like that so what I wanted to show you guys was the a comparison on writing room now because this is what I'm using right now well until um, I got this a week or so ago but you can see how much more writing space there is here um, let me see like this is, this is last week right here. So, you know, there's no ring, so there's just, I don't know, it just seems like a lot more room. And then also it goes all the way up to the edge here and down to the edge here, which that's another, you know, inch or so. So, I don't know, I think I'm going to really like this. Let me move this away. And um, I know some people are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, you cut it, you altered it, whatever. But I just wanted to give it a try and I really like this print. So um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it um, down below. I um, For this part right here, I just have it like this. So um, I just wanted to kind of keep it easy that way. And um, that way, in case it broke or whatever, I don't know. I haven't figured out a better way to do this yet. So, and this is working really well. That keeps banging. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's it. And you can see, like, how nice and thick it is compared to this one right here. So, I think it worked out well. And a lot. I know a lot of you girls have these and aren't really using them. So, I don't know if you want to try this or not, but... I am, I think I'm going to really, really love this a lot. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. And um, did I talk about everything I wanted to? I think so. So that's it, you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.